as a physiotherapist in private practice, working with um, some general population, some weekend warriors and some more athletes, not high level, but some athletes, this course has been a really nice way to come back to basics and start people off on their rehab journey with some really effective exercises. Um, we do a lot of manual therapy, but a lot of what we got out of this course today you can see from the two days would correlate and complement that therapy really, really nicely. So I'm an exercise physiologist. I work in a private practice. I deal with a lot of patients with overuse and chronic injuries. Um, we get a lot of patients come in with shoulder issues from either overworking too much at the gym, overtraining. Um, and in our practice, when I get a patient, it's really important to understand as an exercise physiologist when to refer on to a physiotherapist. I think the biggest thing I took from the course over these two days was a really nice logical progression of exercises. Um, as I said, we at times forget the key elements of, of shoulder rehab as it's really complex, but to start at a foundation and then progress people in a really linear but logical way, um, it's been really nice to see that mapped out and, and, and gives a really good framework to work from. Um, regardless of what you're treating, we covered a lot of that today and yesterday. I've done quite a few courses before and even though I've had quite a few years of training, there were still exercises that I have never used in my regime. So I think from that viewpoint, um, that was really awesome and your great amount of knowledge that you bring to the course um, is, is outstanding. To see it mapped out in, in one kind of course based off an exercise library you've gathered over 10 years, it's been valuable um, in terms of my exercise prescription for specific injuries um, and being able to know when to refer to a physiotherapist and how to work with a physiotherapist and, and working on that continuum all the way from injury to health to performance. I think the um, exercise modules that we did over the last couple of days were super effective to A, make sure you can feel what's going on, but B, really practice and get a good handle of communicating that to a client. Um, as, as physiotherapists, we work with different people at different levels, and obviously people respond to different cueing. Um, some people have an understanding that their shoulder is made up of more than one joint, other people don't. And so by practicing with a group of people in here that were at different levels, it pretty well exactly replicated what you would do in a normal day in the clinic because you're feeding that info to different people and practicing those skills. This course is very good at systemising um, 20 years of Tim's clinical experience into two days where you can understand um, the process of rehabilitation for different types of injury, the process of rehabilitation for you know, surgery versus an overuse injury and how you can progress and regress certain exercises. Some of the exercises we were looking at, uh, stretching out the pec and then being able to mobilise the lumbar spine at the same time, or even using TheraBand to improve flexion with an external rotation bias. So that is really helpful, especially for my young clientele who wouldn't want a huge list of exercises in the first place. So I'll definitely use those. I would recommend this course to physiotherapists or exercise physiologists because you can tell the content from this course has been put together through clinical experience, which I think is the most vital thing for rehab. Um, there's evidence based built into this course, but a lot of it's off presentations of actual people and how you would help that person get to what they want to do. Um, it was obviously very exercise orientated, which is very important, um, and it was really practical. Uh, we, had the opportunity to implement what we were doing, coach it, do it, that sort of thing, which I think is really important. I work with um, physiotherapists predominantly. I'm the head exercise physiologist, so I would definitely recommend physiotherapists in my practice to come and do the course. Um, I think that exercise prescription is undervalued, especially with passive treatment, and a lot of therapists use manual treatment and don't have the understanding or don't learn at university the benefit of exercise and the research behind it and how that can actually help benefit your patient's progress and treatment. So in terms of the colleagues that I work with, the physiotherapists I work with, I think it's going to be valuable for them to add another tool to their toolkit and to be able to go from the initial acute stage, know how to progress accordingly and to fit in exercises based on where the patient is at in a current point of time and knowing also when to refer to an exercise physiologist.